We're gonna guys uh create over here today we're gonna make a video of how to make some baseball card sheets for um a binder or something. Look. See a binder full of baseball cards. The binder I just got from right downstairs because we have a whole bunch of school supplies and stuff. And then so yeah. So we're gonna need is one of these little plastic sheet thingies, scissors, a sharpie, of course baseball all Pokemon cards, and where's my clear tape at? Oh here it is, clear tape, clear tape, and of course a binder. So yeah, if you just want to make sheets of these, sure why not? Put in a tape it in a book or something. I have no idea. You can always use these for pictures too. So yeah. Mom, where's your phone? So first thing you want to do is actually get a baseball card. Let's say this Giants card, for example. And you want to space it out like that. See? Angel, Angel, turn it down, turn it down, turn it, turn it down. Angel, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. All the way down, all the way down. I need it all the way down, all the way down. All the way down. Oh, Angel, turn it down. All right, so, yeah. We're going to use that to space it out. And then, first, and then after that, you space it out. You get your Sharpie. And then... And then, and then, you, what do you do? Let's see. So that's how it's going to fit in. And then you want to line it out. A straight line. And make sure you go like this and space it out. So after that happens... You want to cut this part, make the line like this, uh, you squeeze it and then you cut the line like that. So basically, that happens and then you pull up. And these plastic sheet things, you don't even have to like, like cut, but I'm gonna cut to make it look perfect. So there, and then you go up, I man, I really wish my camera was like some perpendicular, no, not perpendicular, cold way or whatever, like in the videos or whatever, other videos. And then after you do that, you want to get that space and you don't want to cut the other side, you just want to cut that side. So after that, what you want to do is get your tape. Good piece of tape. You want to get a piece of tape, and then... And if you turn it all the way down, tape, and then you get a good decent size like this. I don't want to lose that piece. I don't want to lose it. Whatever. And after that, so you roll it like this. So that way you get a line, like a stick of double-sided tape like that. See? See I'm rolling it? See? Ta-da! It should be sticky all sides. So after that, so once that, you get your card, you slide that in. See? Slide that in. And then after you slide that that, that card in, you want to space it out, and you put the tape inside of thing. See? 
inside of the sleeve and then line it out like so it goes like this so that way the tape spaces out the baseball card with other baseball cards so it doesn't go flying everywhere like everywhere it's been around see now after that you make a baseball card so you could put a baseball card in there and if you want to take it out you always have more space to put your fingers in and you get it like that see it's really cool. It's my way of doing it. So I'm going to finish this page. Of, so. Wait. Let me get this tape out. Let me get this tape. See? So that. And you get a good, p decent piece of tape. And I'm just gonna go through it again. Oh, through the parts, and you get a good piece, decent of tape. And then you roll it again. You roll it again. So after you do that, you simple it again. Let, let's finish this top bottom sheet, and then I'll, I'll show you guys again. And you always want to make sure that the card fits. Always make sure, oh, that doesn't fit. And then you can always take the piece of tape out. Uh, you don't have to restart. Sure, it might crumble it a little bit. Oh, no. Whatever. I'll try not to crumble it. Up that world, please. Okay. Like that. Okay, let's see if this card fits too. It does. Okay. So see, see how we get those slots. So now we can put cards in. Now we can put cards in. So, do that. Oh, yeah. Then, after that, if you want to make the other sheet, it's going to kind of get a little bit complicated. So you want to get a good piece of tape. But this time, you do not roll it up. This time, you put it on the sheet where I made the, the slit. Or for example, let's say Scar, I guess. Okay, there, see? See that, how it goes on top? You're not taping the slot. You, you want to tape the slot so that way, when we do that, the other piece of tape, I mean, the, the slot for the, for the baseball card, the baseball card so the other slot or the three other slots on top I'm sorry for saying slots a lot for the slot slots right here again so that way the cards when you make another slot when you put the cards in and stuff the cards don't slip out of the packaging thingy I'm just making another one for myself right now. But if you want to buy one of these, they cost two ninety nine. I'm joking. Like, there's some at Walmart that like, oh, I can just buy these. But like, if you don't have time for that, and you, if if you want to have a if, if you have a baseball card collection, you don't want to waste time, spend a lot of money. This is really cheap. You just only need tape, scissors, a sharpie, and baseball cards. 
and one of these little plastic sheets and a binder. That's it. So yeah, it's you really cheap. The uh huh, all different types of cards or pictures. Here, look. See, I'm gonna bring out my thing. Oh yeah, but these do slip out very easily. Like, look. I don't wanna. See, they're they can slip out really easily if you turn it upside down. So you want you want to do on your binder is do this arrow up. So every time you pick it up. You know, slip it. Okay, let me get my picture of my dog. This is the, they can work for Pokemon cards. Oh yeah, too. look, see, look. I made this little sheet for my brother, and it's gonna be in another video. Yeah. It is. Mommy, you didn't even. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shoot. Mommy, you didn't even charge my phone. I can't check the time right now on my phone. Angel, what time is it? Eight fourteen. Oh shoot. See, see my dog right there, my little doggo. The Polaroid picture. Yeah, that. Um, you could always use it for photographs and pictures, like for a picture album. But you could also always use it for pictures, baseball cards, Pokemon cards. Use it for whatever you need. So let's see. No, not that. So, or like playing cards that people have signed in your childhood or life or whatever. See? So when you put that in, the card doesn't slip on the bottom so it doesn't go on the other slot. See? So then after that, let's see. Fernando. That's okay. Alright, let's do this. Sorry. So. After that, so you want to make another cut on the top again. So basically, you repeat that two times, I guess, not three times. Okay, this is gonna get really messy, so always have a garbage bin ready for this, like stuff like this. So after that, of course, you get that other roll of tape that I said you needed. And you really, and you don't have to use a sharpie, but whatever. I guess so. You guys, okay. I'm gonna plant some seeds. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, whatever. Um, doesn't want to be seen in my videos. Roll that up again. And then you go like that. You line it up like again, like that. See, now we get another slot. And you get another one. And you put it in the kind of in the same place. My eyes are itchy. 
So yeah, and then after that, you put your baseball card in to make sure it fits. Oh wow, that, that's a perfect slot. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah. And then after that, you know the drill. You put that there again. I, mean, I hate when the tape does this. Francisco. Okay. double-sided sticks again. See? And then we put it in the slot down here. Press down. Cut the excess tape off. That back on the table. Something. Get another stick. So yeah, let's try to take some little card fits. It does fit. So now we're gonna start putting cards in. Oh yeah, they're also double sided, so you just put it on the other side, I guess. Slide those in. Oh yeah, Christmas! For Christmas, there is going to be a Christmas special and a Thanksgiving special, maybe. So for... Oh shoot, I forgot we had doubles. Oh, oh, look how many of these cards I have. I have four of these. 
So when you have four of these, I, what I like to do is just shove them in one slot, and then put another card behind it. So it looks like that those two cards really... Yeah. You can't just use a can or something. Well, not a like can, not really a can, but like... So then, after it's double sided, I want to check if it actually is double sided. Let's see, see, cards on that side, cards on this side. See, it already looks like a full sheet because it is. Um, and this holds about one, two, three, um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 12, 14, 16, 18. So if you have a triple or quadruplets, no, not quadruplets, but yeah, so if you had a duplicate or like another one, like the same card, then you had two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, so it'd probably hold fifteen cards more than that. But yeah, at least it holds some cards, so yeah. Yeah. So after that, you get your sheet and you get your binder. You un open the clasps and you slide it into the holes. And now we get another sheet with baseball cards that are ready to trade and stuff. I'm gonna bring this tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow for school. But like, so, whatever. I'm gonna just show you the old one that I made. This is an old one that I was gonna make. Just imagine I made that with four cards. The reason, the difference is, I made, I cut up these things and then I slid them. In. I put them in. I slid them in little slots slide them in these are not like i should have put like the special really special cards here but whatever but that doesn't really matter so on the back all the way in the back my last page there's some signed cards yes i'm good and over time, when you make a lot of these, it get, actually does get heavy. So, yeah. That's going to be the end of the video. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with us, share with your friends. If any of them like baseball cards or Pokemon or anything. So, yeah. Instead of keeping them in a little plastic bag like I used to do. Or this little metal tin. Which would get overcrowded. Now it does it. I still have a few more baseball cards, like a lot more baseball cards to put in there put in the slots. I'm not gonna make any more today. See like this, I'd put them in there. I'm sure they fit. But it wasn't really cool. But if you wanna put um hype up, I should say maybe you make this binder. You don't have to make the binder. Oh yeah, and always sharpie the side up. Like a whole bunch. Cause if it falls, you need to look. Oh, that's where it needs to go. Got it. See, now it's up, it's putting up. So that way you always hold this up, but you can like this and open the book and see what's inside so yeah that's gonna be the end of the video guys make sure to like comment subscribe make sure um make sure to share with this with friends anyone who likes pokemon baseball cards basketball cards football cards soccer stickers the fifa ones or whatever 
Oh, they have any cards, or if you're just looking for um something to put your pictures, uh, your pictures in, this method will work. Or if you don't have a sewing machine, sure you can use this method. Like if you don't have a sewing machine and all you have, like, oh man, what am I gonna use, man? I only got tape and scissors and all this stuff, whatever. The ones that I said I had in my thingies. The, set, the ones that I said I had in my video. Tape. Sharpie. Scissors. Plastic sheet thingies. And a binder. And you're all set. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. There will maybe be us maybe be a halloween special i might not do it because i don't want to show the neighborhood that i'm going to and then random people start trying to find me and kidnap me so yeah yeah we can't do that so there might be a halloween special there might be people I like oh creator bro here creator bro creator bro people just record their address or just blur them out why don't you do that it's because this is why it's because I do not have editor I used to have editor like in the MRE video that what I did well I always thought editing was like it's just a waste of time just make the video. I'm uh, sure effects will make it better, but like, just, I don't care about that. Just make the video, title the video, edit it, and that's it. Alright, I'm making this video too long. I'm sorry, this is really long, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This will not make, take you 28 minutes, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this with friends and stuff, and uh, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.